How much do we really know about our ancestors, war, ancient civilizations? I mean, we gather information from historical documents, art, uh, books, artifacts, architecture, sometimes even myths and legends, and we come up with ideas or theories about what life was like thousands of years ago. But as much as we like to feel superior to people who lived back then, we have to admit that we don't know the whole picture, and there are things that they created we still can't figure out. Number one, the Baigong Pipes. In a mysterious pyramid in China's Qinghai province near Mount Baigong, an area of China not known to ever contain people, there are three caves filled with pipes leading to a nearby saltwater lake. The iron pipes range in size, with some smaller than a toothpick. The Beijing Institute of Geology determined that these iron pipes were created about 150,000 years ago. Humans are only thought to have inhabited the region for the past 30,000 years. And even then, the only pipe laying people did probably had nothing to do with iron. Yeah, I, I just made a poop joke. The pipes are clean of debris, suggesting that they were not simply shoved into the ground, but actually used for something. China's state-run Xinhua News Agency reported on the pyramids, the pipes, and a team of scientists was sent to investigate in 2002. The head of the publicity department of the local Delinghua government told Xinhua the pipes were analyzed at a local smeltery, and 8% of the material could not be identified, while the rest was made up of ferric oxide, silicon dioxide, and calcium oxide. The silicon dioxide and calcium oxide are products of long interaction between the iron and surrounding sandstone, showing the ancient age of the pipes. Liu Shaolin, the engineer who did the analysis, told Xinhua the result has made the site even more mysterious. To further add to the mystery, Zheng Jiandong, a geology research fellow from the China Earthquake Administration, told the state-run newspaper People's Daily in 2007 that some of the pipes were even found to be highly radioactive. Number two, stone spheres of Costa Rica. The stone spheres of Costa Rica refer to over 300 polished stone orbs, the first of which were discovered in the 1930s. Most were discovered by workers clearing the jungle, and when they realized the stones were man-made, they drilled holes into them and inserted dynamite to blow them up in search of hidden gold. The spheres range in size from a few centimeters to over two meters in diameter and weigh up to 16 tons. They are believed to have been carved between 200 BC and 1600 AD and have been discovered in a number of seemingly random locations. Many legends surround the stones, such as they came from Atlantis, were made by aliens. Some local legends state that the native inhabitants had access to a potion able to soften the rock. Many of the stone spheres have been found in clusters of up to 20 and often in geometric patterns such as triangles, rectangles, or straight lines, and such alignments often point to the Earth's magnetic north. The larger stones are perfectly shaped with almost no imperfections. This shows that the makers of the stones must have had a degree of mathematical ability as well as advanced knowledge of stone carving and the use of tools. What's more mysterious is that most of the spheres are made with granodiorite, a rock similar to granite, yet the granite rock quarries were often 25 to 30 miles away from the location of the largest stone spheres. So then, how was such a heavy object moved? You know, my theory is these could actually be stone eggs, and uh, maybe eventually stone giants would hatch from them and rule the world. Speaking of giants, that would be a really easy explanation, because if giants really did exist, these could just be their toy marbles that they would play with. Number three, Roman dodecahedrons. The Roman dodecahedron is a small hollow object made of bronze, or sometimes stone, with 12 flat faces. Each face is a a pentagon, a five-sided shape. They also have a series of knobs on each corner point of the pentagons. About a hundred of these have been found, ranging from 4 centimeters to 11 centimeters in size. It's dated from somewhere around the 2nd and 3rd century AD and has been popping up everywhere in Europe. Archaeologists have found the majority of them in France, Switzerland, and parts of Germany where the Romans once ruled. To this day, researchers are no closer to understanding the origin and function of 
these mysterious objects. Theories include uh, weapons, uh, candle holders, or maybe even toys. Some guy even made gloves using these things. Plutarch, the famous Greek historian, reportedly identified the dodecahedron as a vital instrument for zodiac signs. The 12 sides represent the 12 animals in the circle of the zodiac. But even this theory is heavily contested. Despite the many unanswered questions, one thing is certain. The Roman dodecahedrons were highly valued by their owners. This is evidenced by the fact that a number of them were found among treasures, such as coins and other valuable items. You know, to me, they kind of look like ancient wiffle balls. They also kind of look like some form of a wrench. Maybe they give them out at ancient Ikeas. Number four, Kimbaya airplanes. The Kimbaya airplanes are golden artifacts found in Colombia and made by the Kimbaya civilization between 1000 BC and 1000 AD. They measure two to three inches and are described by some archaeologists to depict birds. But to many others, these look like miniature airplanes. But what makes these airplane models so amazing is that they are so aerodynamically accurate. In 1994, German aeronautical engineers Peter Belting and Conrad Lubbers created large-scale radio-controlled models of these artifacts. They were able to prove that the designs fly with both simple single propeller power and jet power. Of course, mechanical flight was not invented until the Wright brothers flights in 1903. Number five, the London Hammer. In June 1936 or 1934, according to some accounts in London, Texas, Max Hunt and his wife Emma were on a walk when they noticed a rock with wood sticking out from it. They took it home and later cracked it open with a hammer. Ironically, they found a hammer inside the rock. They turned it over to a team of archaeologists who checked it, and as it turns out, the rock encasing the hammer was dated to the Ordovician period more than 400 million years ago. What's more crazy is that, according to initial measurements, the hammer itself is more than 500 million years old. It's so old that a section of the wooden handle has begun to transform into coal. The hammer's head consists of more than 96% iron, indicating that it is not naturally created. There are, of course, a lot of things that may be hoaxes, but I do believe that there are true mysteries out there. I mean, for me, it makes sense that perhaps long ago, there were other civilizations like ours. They could even be much more advanced. But just because they're more advanced doesn't mean that they won't succumb to some sort of apocalyptic disaster, and then maybe some of the people survived, and uh, they all had to start over once again. But let me know your thoughts on this topic. Thank you so much for watching. See you later.